The relevant local authorities should be consulted to determine the licensing requirements for the receipt, storage, handling, use, and disposal of yttrium-90 as contained in SurSphere's microspheres. Where such requirements exist, Surtex can only ship to that site once those requirements have been met. It should be noted that if any Surtex recommendations conflict with the local regulations pertaining to the handling of radioactive devices, the local regulations should take priority over the Surtex recommendations and should be observed. The shipping vial, the V-vial containing the patient-specific dose, and the disposable items used for preparing and implanting SurSphere's microspheres should be handled with forceps to reduce radiation exposure. Additionally, appropriate barriers to provide shielding from beta radiation should be used in the microspheres dose preparation area. Staff must wear protective clothing, such as a protective gown with full-length sleeves, a lead apron during the implantation procedure, double gloves, and protective shoe covers. Additionally, staff should wear film badges or some form of personal dosimeter to monitor their personal radiation exposure. At the completion of the CERT procedure, contaminated items should be placed in an appropriately labeled radioactive waste container. Staff members' shoes, hands, and body, the floor under the angiography table, and other relevant surfaces should be monitored with a radiation survey meter for contamination. Following the CERT procedure, the patient should be accommodated in a single bed room whenever possible. There is no need to collect the bed linen or items of clothing of a patient who has received treatment. If nursing staff are required to change urinary catheter bags or other drainage bags, then gloves are to be worn and the bags are to be discharged into the toilet and flushed twice. Specific hospital discharge instructions may provide information about treatment with a radioactive source and specific instructions for a patient to follow, including physician contact details, in case of an emergency. Following discharge from hospital, there are some simple precautions that need to be taken during the first 24 hours following the CERT procedure. These precautions include thorough hand washing after going to the toilet, cleaning up any spills of body fluids, such as blood, urine, or stools, and disposing of them in the toilet, which should be flushed twice.